Hey you biscuits, welcome back to the Wholesome Feed. So as part of our fabulous January, I thought I would do three life hacks to find happiness now. You know, immediate gratification, right? That's our generation. We want happiness now or else, right? <laughs> but that there are things we can do that have an immediate impact on our mood and where our hearts are at and the ease at which we access that internal happiness, right? There are ways to make it easier to access our own happiness. And it doesn't have to be huge life changes. It can just be small steps that we commit to doing every day that make a difference, right? And I think that, you know, this month we're all a little bit more open to changing up what we're doing, finding new habits to do throughout the year with the hopes that fundamentally it'll make us happier, right? Like, if you want to lose weight, it's because you want to be healthier, you want to be happier. You want to be, you know, if you want to change your job, it's because you want to find some happiness, right? If you're going to pay more attention to family and spend more focused time on that, right? Our goals are often happiness driven and that's beautiful. That's wonderful that our fabulous little ape brains are like, Ooh, happiness sounds good. Let's find some of that. So, hey, let's get on our three life hacks to get happy right about when? When? Right now? Right now, you say? Oh, we can do that. Let's do it. Tell everyone you know that you love them out loud. I want you to say that every day to the people in your life. This has been hugely life-changing to me. I do not come from a family that says that they love you. They don't hug. Um, they don't have any outward signs of affection, you know. They are cold, Germanic family that you know they love you, but they don't say it, and they certainly don't show it. <laughs> and so something that I started doing in adulthood was telling people how I felt about them, which I will say does occasionally include telling them the fluff right off because I don't like them. And people do know when I don't like them. I have discovered that about me. If I don't like you, <laughs> you know it. But it also means telling the people in my life that I value that I love them. And sometimes if I'm far away from some of the people I love, I'll just send them text and say, hey, I want you to know that I love you and I value you in my life, that you're wonderful to have in my life. Um, and to the people, you know, face to face, that I just say, I love you, you're wonderful, thank you so much for being in my life. Say it out loud, do it every day, and do it genuinely, right? And at first, it is gonna feel really unauthentic. It's gonna feel a little weird. Both you and the person you're saying it to are gonna be kind of probably surprised, because probably, when you really think about it, you don't say that all the time, not really, not genuinely. And I'm always amazed that when we stop ourselves and we think about things and the way that we interact with people, we realize it, we really aren't doing it outwardly as much as we think, right? There's a big difference there. So say I love you out loud every day to the people that you love. Be genuine, be real with that emotion and share it. Hey, I'm gonna find some more happiness hacks. Um, let's do number two, ready? We're gonna look in this mirror. We're gonna go to our bathroom mirror just right now and we're gonna look and we're gonna say, I believe in you. You can totally get this done. I am happy and I will get this done. Decide how you wanna do it first person, whatever works for you, but I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to tell yourself that you can do this, you've got this, that you are happy and that you will get stuff done. And it is amazing what telling yourself these things will do to your ability to get them done, right? You are telling your mind, you are rewiring that beautiful brain of yours that you can get it done. Alrighty. Hey, should we get to our third and final life hack? Um, hmm. I'm going to say yes. Alrighty. Third and final life hack for happiness right now. Boom. We're going to do 12 jumping jacks every morning when we wake up. Alrighty. Let's get this party of happiness started. Boom, take it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That simple. We're gonna get twelve jumping jacks in every morning. Cause you're gonna get your heart rate up. You are gonna get going and feel fabulous. So really, it's that simple. Three quick things to do every day that can make you a little bit jollier, a little bit happier, and that make it easier for you to just get to that point in your brain that's the happy point, right? 
and so much about changing habits, changing routines, and kind of, you know, mixing things up in the new year is about finding a way to make these happiness habits that really stick, right? They just become a part of your regular day-to-day -day life. So try these out. Tell me in the comments. Leave me an emoji that represents which one of these three you like the most, because I love seeing your little emoji comments. Mm -hmm. And I'll give them a little heart. Uh, let me know. I want to see which ones work for you. Hey, until next time, feel free. If you want to be really happy in a saucy sort of way, feel free, click on over to my books on Amazon. Um, I also sell them on Barnes and Noble and all over everything that you read on. Uh, they're fabulous, fun romance books from sci-fi to contemporary, right, in several different genres um, that are just a great time. So if you want to find a little romance happiness, feel free to grab one of those. It's a great way to support these channels. And I love hearing your positive feedback on those books. Thank you so much for supporting me on this wonderful journey through life. Hey, and thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I love seeing this community grow for more wonderful, fun, educational, great ways to get through life and parenting and, you know, be better versions of ourselves, be happier versions of ourselves as mamas and dads and as people um, throughout this whole 2019. Hey, we got it. You got it. We can get this done. See y'all later.